in continuation, this is now the third integral formula, which is your exponential. Kunti lang to, mga 3 to 4 problems lang. So for your exponential problem, all right, for your exponential formula under integral formulas, this is now, remember, the differential of e raised to u is basically still e raised to u du. Or the integral of e raised to u du is equal now to the differential of e raised to u. Or e raised to u du is equal to e raised to u plus c. So, yan na yung ating pinaka formula. One more uh, involving for uh, exponential is a constant of a raised to u du or a constant that has a function as its exponent is now equal to a raised to u over ln a plus c. Both a, where a here should be greater than 0. Okay? Here, u is your exponent of the base e and base a. This is again your exponent of the base e and a, or constant e or a. And du is the exact differential of the exponent. Exponent u. Again, u is your exponent of the base constant e and a, while du is the exact differential of the exponent u. So, this two now will be our two general formula involving exponential or integral formula under exponential function. Gilid ko lang. Example agad. Your first example, number one, given, you'll ask, you're now asked to evaluate the, dito, the indefinite integral of 1 plus e raised to 2x raised to 2 times e raised to x dx. Saan ngayon yung u natin dyan? Saan ang u natin? Wala pa. Expand muna natin. Ay, ang hirap niya, no? Expand mo muna, 1 plus 2e raised to 2x plus e raised to 4x, e raised to x, dx, distribute, e raised to x plus 2e raised to 3x plus e raised to 5x, dx. So, di kung ginamit mo na kaagad si 1 plus e raised to 2x, di, nag-resolve ka pa, pwede naman palang expand lang. Simplify, distribute your integral sign, e raised to x dx plus 2 raised, uh, integral of e raised to 3x dx plus the integral of e raised to 5x dx. Apply your exponential formula involving e raised to uh, u du, which is equal to e raised to u plus c. Wala, uh, uh, e raised to x, simply e raised to x. Plus 2, e raised to 3x. So, magiging denominator is 3. Plus, e raised to 5x. So, ang denominator natin dito, e e is 5. So, e, one-fifth of e raised to 5x plus c. Which is now our final answer. <sighs> Number two. Example number 2. You're now asked to evaluate the indefinite integral of e raised to x over 2 plus e raised to negative x then raised to 3 times e raised to 4x dx. Ano? Solve ba natin siya as it is? Kung kukunin natin na term si e raised to x over 2 plus e raised to negative x then differentiate that term Will it bring us to the evaluation of e raised to 4x and eventually introduce a correcting factor of 1 fourth? Hindi pwede. 
Kasi wala ni isa sa function na yan or sa term na yan ang posibleng magbigay ng correcting factor that will eliminate e raised to 4x. So, wala tayong ibang way but to expand the integrand. Expand lang natin. That is e raised to 3 halves x plus 3 times e raised to x times e raised to negative x plus 3 e raised to x over 2 times e raised to 2x plus e raised to negative 3x. Multiply now to e raised to 4x dx. Simplify further. Distribute your e raised to 4x. Gives us. Uh, kayo na bahala. I-distribute ko na yung integral sign ha. e raised to 3 halves x times e raised to 4x dx plus 3 of e raised to x times e raised to negative x times e raised to 4x dx plus 3 integral of e raised to x over 2 times e raised to 4x dx plus the integral of e raised to negative 3x times e raised to 4x dx. Simplify further. 3x, uh, 3 halves x plus 4x is equal now to what? 11 over 2. Tama ba? Yeah, 11 over 2. Tama? Hello? Hello? Tama lang, sir. Diretsohin na natin sa integral, ha? That is e raised to 11 over 2, x over 11 over 2, plus 1 minus 1, uh, 1 plus negative 1 plus 4, that is e raised to 4, 3 e raised to 4x over 4, plus 1 half plus 4 is 5 halves, that is 3e raised to 5 halves x over 5 halves, plus negative 3 plus 4 is ex, e raised to x. Simplify further, 2 over 11, e raised to 11 over 2, x, ay. Eleven over two x plus three fourth of e raised to four x plus there is six fifth of e raised to five halves x plus e. Kalimutan ko yung c raised to x plus your integration constant, which bring us now to our final answer. Question. Where's a what? Uh, sa line before yung final answer. So, yung 11 over 2, tsaka yung mga 4x, 5 over 2x, tsaka raised to x. Wala na po bang plus 1 yung mga yun? Ah, wala na po. Hindi po plus 1. Exponential po ito. Hindi po to power. Ay, okay po sir. <laughs> na dito na po. Differential po. of exponential function. Sa power yung may plus 1. Parang ibibring down mo lang yung exponent. Pag exponential, then reciprocal. Next one. Problem number three. You're now asked to evaluate the, inti uh, the indefinite integral of e raised to 2y. Raised to 2y plus e raised to negative 2y. All over e raised to 2y minus e raised to negative 2y. dy. Paano yan? Ngayon, diniscuss ni sir kanina yung pagdi-divide ng term-term. Ganun na rin gagawin ko. Parehas lang naman siguro. Eh, sigurado ka ba? Doon muna tayo sa pinakaalam natin when it comes to exponential. Kuha tayo ng u. Anong gagamitin natin u dyan? Let's try using e raised to 2y minus e raised to negative 2y. Differentiate that term gives you 2e raised to 2y plus 2e raised to negative 2y dy. Ah, tama ba? 2e. Or simply, that is 2e raised to 2y plus 2, uh, plus e raised to negative 2y dy. Sa madaling sabi, ayun na yun, no? 
we could immediately cancel that one out and introduce the correcting factor of one half du. Okay. Introduce natin si one half dun sa ating integrand. That is 2e raised to 2y plus e raised to negative 2y over e raised to 2y minus e raised to negative 2y dy. Cancel na yan dahil sa uh, correcting factor natin. And simply apply your what? Anong i-apply natin? Kakatapos no, lang. Ano? That is now a term that will eventually has an exponent of negative 1. So that is now 1 half ln e raised to 2y minus e raised to negative 2y plus c. Akala nyo exponential, oh. Diba? Explore the different formulas. Huwag kang mag-stick lang dun sa iisa. Kasi marahil, sa tingin mo, ito yung formula na dapat gamitin. Pero pwede naman palang mag-power formula. Pwede naman palang mag, uh, tawag na dito, tawag na dito, solution by part, integration by parts. Pwede naman palang mag-trigonometric. Pwede naman palang mag-logarithm. Or combination, and so forth, and so long. Sir. Hindi tayo nag-instinct nag dun sa isang formula lang, ha? Pwede nating i-apply yan sa buong integrant. As long as it is applicable and acceptable by the rule of calculus. Sir. Yeah. May kasi po, sir. Sir. Ah, doon ba sa problem? Yes, sir. Wait lang. Balik ko. Ni. Sabura naman. Ayaw bumalik. Eh, wala na. Ayun. Yung value po ng du, sir, hindi po ba ano? 1 half e raised to 2y instead hindi, of... Hindi, hindi, hindi po. Differential. Hindi. Differential. Hindi tayo nag-integrate. Ah, oh, pala. Differential po pala. Sir, po, sir, nalito lang. Oh, nag-differentiate tayo. Ayun, du, du, du. Dineferentiate natin yung term na kailangan natin to create your uh, correcting factor para ma-cancel yung ating tawag ng dito numerator. Tsaka tayo mag-i-integrate. Ah, po sir. Thank you po. nag po. Next one. Ay. Problem 4. Ano ka po? Sakit ulo ko. Now, what if you're now asked to evaluate the indefinite integral of e raised to 3y over e raised to y minus 2 dy? Ayan. The exponent of the... Tawag na dito. Tama ba? Numerate. The exponent of the denominator is what? Less than the numerator. So, simplify the problem. I-divide na muna natin siya. So, e raised to 3y divided by e raised to y minus 2. May value yung e a. May value yan. Hindi lang yun basta variable. Uh, get your calculator. Hanapin nyo yung e. Alpha. That is alpha. Alpha x 10 raised to x. Wait lang ah. So, eto na ngayon yung ating final answer. Again, e raised to 3y over e raised to y minus 2. E divide lang natin. e raised to y minus 2. Divide, uh, e raised to 3y divided by e raised to y minus 2. So, e raised to 2y. Multiply mo lang. To cancel that one, gives you minus negative 2 e raised to 2y. 2 e to y. Ganun ulit. Plus 2 e raised to y. Then, simplify gives you uh, that will give you the end of 4 e raised to y. So from that, will remain as your remainder. That gives you your final form of your integrand to be integral of e raised to 2y plus 2 e raised to y plus 4 times e raised to y over e raised to y minus 2 dy. Simplify further. 
then you can then apply your exponential, exponential, then logarithmic. So this will serve as our final answer, which is 1 half of e raised to 2y plus 2 e raised to y plus 4 ln times e raised to y minus 2 plus c. Question po. Number five. Example number five. For your example number five, what if you're given, uh, you're asked to evaluate the tawag na dito? Integral, uh, the indefinite integral of e raised to 4x minus 3 raised to 5 times e raised to 4x dx. Paano naman pag ganyan? Masyado na malaki. Para expand natin kasi raised to 5 o. Oh. Mahaba masyado yan. Ano ang gagawin natin? Meron tayong common term. e raised to 4x. Then e raised to 4x. So basically, kunin natin si term, uh, si u as e raised to 4x minus 3. Differentiate that one. Gives you 4 e raised to 4x dx. We already have the term e raised to 4x here. So we'll need to introduce a correcting factor of 1 fourth du. Therefore, that is 1 fourth integral of e raised to 4x minus 3 raised to 5 times 4e raised to 4x dx. Cancel that one. Ano gagawin natin? Power exponential logarithmic. Anong gagamitin natin to express our final answer? Of course, power. Ayan na o. 4x minus 3, 5 plus 1, 6, all over 6 plus c. Simplify, that is 1 over 24, e raised to 4x minus 3, e raised to 6 plus c. So this will serve as our final answer. Example number six. Example number six. You're now asked to evaluate the indefinite integral of e raised to y minus 2 over e raised to 3y dy. The denominator now has a great uh, larger degree than of the numerator. So basically, paano natin gagawin yan? Simplify lang natin. That is e raised to y over e raised to 3y dy minus 2 integral of dy over e raised to 3y. Simplify further. It's the same as uh, e raised to y times e raised to negative 3y dy minus 2 of e raised to negative 3y dy. Ano mas madaling makita? Anong susunod nang mangyayari? That is e raised to y plus e ra uh, the, ex uh, the exponent 1 plus negative 3 gives you e raised to negative 2y dy minus 2 of e raised to negative 3y dy. That is simply negative 1 half of e raised to negative 2y dy minus i positive 2 thirds kasi negative yung 3 oh. So, positive 2 thirds e raised to negative 3y plus c. Okay, and that is now our final answer. And last one. For your final example or last example for exponential function. What if you're now given to evaluate the indefinite integral of e raised to 12x minus 6e raised to 8x minus 12e raised to 4x plus 4 times e raised to negative x dx? With this one, you can apply both what? Exponential and... Ano yung isa pa? Ano yung isa pang pwede natin gamitin? Logarithm. Ha. 
how distribute your indefinite uh, your integral sign e raised to 12x dx minus 6 e raised to 8x dx minus minus 12 e raised to 4x dx plus ah o pala kailangan mo pa pala siyang i-distribute mali distribute muna natin si e raised to negative x e raised to negative x that is simply e raised to negative x times e raised to negative 12x 11x dx minus 6 e raised to 8x times e raised to negative x that is e raised to 7x minus dx minus 12 e raised to 4x times e raised to negative x that is 3x dx and lastly 4 of e raised to negative x dx or that is 4 dx over e raised to x simplify gives you 1 over 11 e raised to 11 x minus 6 over 7 e raised to 7x minus 12 over 3 that is 4 e raised to 3x plus 4 anong gagawin natin dyan? that is now ln e raised to x plus c but remember we have e as a constant Ana saan si Lon? Hira lit, hindi ko mabasa yung sulat. Ayan. Lon of alpha e raised to x is simply 1. Or, that is now, for our final answer, 1 over 11, e raised to 11x minus 6 over 7, e raised to 7x minus 4, e raised to 3x, 4 times 1 raised to x is simply 4 raised to x plus c. So, this will be your final answer. For our next lecture, please review your trigonometric identities and remember your formulas involving differential of trigonometric function. And start reading transformation under trigonometric function using type 1, 2, 3, and 4. Nasa module po iyon. Pakibasa na lang.